Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and you guys know what time it is. It's time for a deadlift day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, in spite of, again, my, my post put up um, and some very private matters going on for me, I am in a good headspace. Uh, training's good. Business is great. Phenomenal. I'm happy with today's session. This went really great. Uh, again, got my head pretty straight right now, all things considered. This went up easy. I decided to just ramp up to a good training max. Leave some uh, pounds on the platform here. That went up real clean, so I went for a 565. Went up real fast, and I called it. I'll be happy to just hit this at this uh, coming meet. As long as I break my own state records, I don't care. I'm not trying to hit a true max if I can avoid it. That's the goal is to actually just break my state record without maxing. This will do it right here. All right, be good right there. 565. And uh, then we went over and did some deadlifts. And I'm on, on low carbs today. We cut the carbs. Got to get that water down going into the meat. I just start bringing the water down. I don't need all the glycogen. We're not going to do any rep work after this, really. Not much. Just pull-ups and stuff. You know, we're going to just burn through it. I'm going to get it lower. Uh, I'll probably do a mock meet uh, around Monday. Do a mock meet on Monday or so. So I did a couple sets of five with 405. Then I did a set of five with 425. I did a set of five with 425. Um, but again... Fortunately, um, <laughs> all the people who came out of the woodworks to talk smack and spam my thing, who are all banned, seem to be completely clueless as to what's actually going on in my life, uh, which is great. Which is great. So, you know, I'm, I'm just sticking out some stuff right now. I... Uh, plan on being in a house by the end of the year so you know again I don't want to move while I'm prepping for worlds I really don't I don't want to deal with it so I'm actually postponing it I really should just move to to a house with a garage gym uh, and do all this in there but I don't want the disruption uh, going into worlds world is too important to me right now uh, and actually even other stuff going on in my life is I can't let it deter me from that so again keeping a straight head going into this stuff getting this practice meet and taking it just as serious walking in with a good game plan uh, is pretty important pretty important so um, we did that we did our heavy pull training max which went good I uh, did those sets of five you know and that was a funny thing too i mean it's just it's fascinating to me though when people see the rep work that they they make assumptions about my my strength level like someone who kind of seems to post regularly he'll see this and he's like well he thinks he thought he was stronger than me because you know he says he can bet he deadlifts 405 for 10 and i'm like um i've done 500 for 11 this year on camera these are my post heavyweight work sets. <laughs> These aren't max reps. And you know, I've tried I've explained to people a lot with that with a lot of this back off work. We we get a large training response from it because we're doing it as back off work. It's different. It's completely different. I mean, even in the four twenty five for five, I mean that's fresh, that that would still be a warm up. Right? That's still a, that would be a ramp up set. Uh, so, I went ahead and bumped the weight on these good mornings because I want to bring these up quicker. And I wanted the training response so that I can be adapted from it, maybe have my back and stuff just a little stronger by the time competition rolls around because I can still grow off this. I can get a few days of muscle growth as the carbs are brought down. So, I went ahead and went up to 275. You don't see the fives on the sides of those. So you see the big plates. Keep in mind, this is the tight, the Titan bar. It's an 85-pound bar. So for people who are trying to figure out the math, and then there's a couple of smaller plates. I guess you, we can't see them from this angle. I should have got another angle in for a couple of sets. 
you know, because you guys know how it is on the internet. If all people can see is the 265, then, you know, I must be lying. Must be lying. So that 10 pounds is a lie. That's, that's the internet for you. But we, we did five sets of 10 on this. We did five sets of 10 on this. So, you know, three sets of five on conventional. Five sets of 10. Again, that's back off work. Five sets of 10 on the Cambridge Bar Good Mornings. You know, with a, a medium stance. Kind of just going with the shoulder width stance because that's really where I was really strong. So in this, instead of me saying, hey, you know, what muscles can we work by doing a pretty narrow or pretty wide stance. I'm going with a little bit of a medium stance. I might I might even bring this out just a hair. And, you know, the range of motion is decent now that I look. I, I would like to get a hair deeper. So I'm not going to increase the weight on this next time I do it. I'm going to keep it here. Work on, see if I can squeeze a little more depth. And, and I think with that, it's probably because of my stance is a little narrow might need to go just a hair wider to to be able to do that while hip hinging it and not rounding the back because that's the thing too your range of motion is always going to be determined by your uh your ability to hip hinge it's oftentimes the physical structure of your hips on the good morning I've, I've demonstrated that on camera before from the side in the past there's some some old videos on like how to good morning uh that i've got up for people who aren't understanding what i mean there i've, I've covered that on, on a camera in the past but that's that's the idea of it still 275 on these for you know five by ten we're, we're coming back up you know i mean we, we want it higher and get up to 315. i mean let's talk optimal what's optimal here what's ideal i like to get these up to about 405 for sets of 10. But, you know, that would be solid uh then we did glute ham raises uh, just finished up on these with 3x10 just to get that extra hamstring work in. And while well, I'm calling it 3x10, I forgot to count on the third set. I just did it until they got hard and then I stopped. I completely, as soon as I got up there, I spaced out and I completely forgot to count reps. And I realized that I was doing it. I just went until it got fatiguing. I don't know if I did 7 reps or 12 reps. I have no idea. No clue. I just know it didn't help finish off my hamstrings, you know, which got worked pretty good during all of this. And like I said, this is the last real volume workout. Uh, we'll do some conditioning and stuff to drop water and drop some glucose. So again, we get that water weight down, get it down to where we need it to be. And again, I'll let you guys finish up watching this. There's not much else really to say about this workout. Um, it kind of went how I wanted it. Uh, weight was right around what, what I, I kind of wanted to come in and pull and hope it felt like a training max. So I hope it has been informative and I'll talk to you guys next time.